Hi viewers, this is Shahin and welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss Intermediate First Year 1A, Chapter Number 8, Inverse Trigonometry Functions, Exercise 8A, Second Roman, Second Problem. Find the values of first one, sine of cos inverse 3 by 5 plus cos inverse 12 by 13. Okay. See beta, same. Let us consider as cos inverse 3 by 5 equal to alpha and cos inverse 12 by 13 equal to beta okay that means cos alpha equal to 3 by 5 number here cos beta equal to 12 by 13 okay this is alpha angle adjacent side by hypotenuse so automatically this one is 4 Okay, sin alpha equal to adjacent by hypotenuse 4 by 5. And here, this is beta adjacent side by hypotenuse. Automatically, this one is 5. Sin beta equal to opposite by hypotenuse. Okay, now or we know that sin of alpha plus beta equal to sin alpha into cos beta plus cos alpha into sin beta sin alpha that means 4 by 5 into cos beta cos beta means 12 by 13 plus cos alpha is 3 by 5 into sin beta means 5 by 13 12 for the how much ma 48 by 13 5 is a 65 plus 5 3 is a 15 by 13 5 is a 65 lcm is 65 48 plus 15 40 50 58 plus 5 is 63 by 65 this is sine of alpha plus beta okay so sine of alpha alpha means cos inverse 3 by 5 plus beta beta means cos inverse 12 by 13 equal to 63 by 65 is the answer okay next second one let sin inverse 3 by 5 equal to alpha. So sin alpha equal to 3 by 5. According to this one, this is alpha opposite by hypotenuse. Automatically this one is 4. So here tan is the number. So that's why you can, you, you know, you can take or you can write tan alpha opposite by adjacent okay and cos inverse 5 by root 34 equal to beta cos beta equal to 5 by root 34 okay next here beta cos means adjacent side by hypotenuse correct ma so automatically this one side a b c means a c square that means root 34 whole square equal to we don't know this one a b square plus 5 square square root cancel 34 5 square means 25 this one you can write here minus 25 equal to a b square 34 minus 25 Take borrow to uh, 14 minus 5, 9. That means 9 equal to AB square, AB equal to 3. Okay. Tan beta equal to opposite by high uh, adjacent side. Okay, beta. Now we know that tan of alpha plus beta equal to 
tan alpha plus tan beta by 1 minus tan alpha into tan beta. Tan alpha 3 by 4 plus tan beta 3 by 5 by 1 minus 3 by 4 into 3 by 5. LCM is 20. Cross multiplication beta 15 plus 12. Here LCM is 20. 20 into 1 20 minus 3 3 is 9 by 20. 20 20 cancel. 12, uh, 15 plus 12 10 20 27 by here 11. Okay. So this is tan of alpha plus beta value. Tan of alpha alpha means sin inverse 3 by 5. Beta is cos inverse 5 by root 34 equal to 27 by 11. This is the second solution. Next third one. Let sin inverse 3 by 5 equal to alpha sin alpha equal to 3 by 5 according to this this is alpha the triangle right angle triangle this is alpha angle opposite by hypotenuse automatically this one is 4 okay now i want cos cos alpha equal to adjacent by hypotenuse and sin inverse 5 by 13 equal to beta sin beta equal to 5 by 13 this is beta opposite by hypotenuse automatically this one is 12 okay ma next cos beta equal to adjacent by hypotenuse okay we know that we know that cos of alpha plus beta equal to cos alpha into cos beta minus sin alpha into sin beta cos alpha is 4 by 5 into cos beta is 12 by 13 minus sin alpha is 3 by 5 sin beta is 5 by 13 5 13 ja, or 13 5 ja, 65 12 4 ja, 48 minus 65 15 lcm is 65 48 minus 15 48 minus 15 3 3 33 by 65 <coughs> is cos of alpha plus beta value cos of alpha alpha means sine inverse 3 by 5 beta is sine inverse 5 by 13 equal to 33 by 65 this is question number two solution beta next class we will discuss question number three solution thank you for watching my video take it well of you